More speed. Greetings. Yes, it's a long story. Barbara and Lisa have both spoken to me, and there is something that I have realized. Regardless if I approve it or not, Clee will go where she wants to anyway. This is how it has always been. <laughs> we all know Clee. Rather than have her run headlong into danger, it's better to agree to her request. Night Clee, your request for leave has been approved. Wow, I am so excited! However, there are conditions. In exchange, I will be accompanying everyone to this letter's Golden Apple Archipelago. As for the Knight's affairs, I have entrusted them to Kaya. Work has been busy and I shouldn't leave, but I wouldn't be able to stop worrying about Klee. So, please allow me to travel with you. All right! There won't be any problems if Master Jean comes with us! Big Sis, uh, I mean, Master Jean also suggested that I come along. Barbados forbid, but I can assist if someone needs medical treatment during our journey. We're so lucky to have Barbara, too! Miss Barbara, Master Jean, you two are so nice. I promise I'll behave. Clee, you always say that. I hope you will abide by your words this time. Uh... <laughs> Lisa heard that I wanted to accompany everyone to the islands, so she prepared this pouch. Supposedly, opening it will reveal a new way. New way? You mean a way to keep Klee out of trouble? She said not to open it until we've reached the islands. I think it might be something to use in case of an emergency. Uh, as expected of Miss Lisa, she's been thinking of us this whole time. Anyway, our next step is to find the bard, right? I just asked the people nearby. They said that he hasn't performed at the square today and that he likely went to Windrise. What are we waiting for? Let's head to Windrise and find Tone Deaf Bard! Venti, we found you! Hmm? If so many people are looking for me, then I suppose it is something important. This is the map of the islands. Ah, uh, yes, that place. <laughs> Congratulations! You found the right person! Wow, wow, wow! You really do know! So, now they're called the Golden Apple Archipelago, huh? They used to be known as the Har Islands. They're located on a stretch of sea that's particularly difficult for the average person to reach. Not to mention, the area has strong storms and thick fog year-round. Ships can hardly approach the island, let alone dock. Why do you guys wish to go there? I'm going there to meet Dodo King. He said he wants to test Klee to see if she's qualified to be Dodo Ko's family. Hmm. Are you nervous? A little, but I will not give in. Master Tone Deaf Bard, you must help us. Master Tone Deaf Bard? <laughs> Interesting. I like it. Is this Paimon's fault? Fear not. Since you wish it so, Master Tone Deaf Bard will lend a helping hand. Could you really help us? <laughs> of course! In this world, what is more pure and free than the wish of a child? What a beautiful sound! Huh? Is the wind picking up? Wait just a moment. He'll be here soon. Uh, that's... Uh, uh, uh. This is a secret between us here, so don't tell anyone else. What are the four winds? Oh, my dear poet, you have my utmost gratitude for the aid you have provided us. The acting grandmaster sure is formal. <laughs> what wonderful expressions you all have. I'll see you off here. May the winds bless your travels.
This is as far as I go. It would be cumbersome for me to proceed further. Please, exercise caution. legendary bard of exceptional musical talent who can use his lyre to call forth all manner of creatures. Whoa, even Master Jean is pretty quick on the spot. Oh, what an impressive person. We must properly thank him when we return. Agreed. In any case, what are these islands? The weather is dreadful, the fog is thick, and visibility is low, just like Lisa said. We should be extra careful. Traveler, Paimon, what else does the letter say? Oh, Paimon remembers. It read, Wicked Girl of Flame, I am of the Dodo Clan as its overlord. In the name of Dodo King, you are not qualified to become Dodoko's new family. Unless you bring Dodoko to the Golden Apple Archipelago, light the four beacons, and knock upon the trialist gate to accept your challenge. Four beacons? Does that mean he wants us to find something that emits light? Now that you mention it, doesn't it seem like it's a little less foggy here than the surrounding area? Looking carefully, that indeed appears to be the case. Could the clearing of the fog be related to this device? Don't you think it looks familiar? Pretty similar to the portable waypoints we've used before. Crafting portable waypoints requires luminescent spines, so they can also function as a source of light. So if this device here seems like it can dissipate fog, maybe it's a similar kind of device. Light four beacons and knock upon the trialist gate. Hmm... What will happen after we light up all four beacons? There's already one lit device here. It appears that we need to find the other three and light them up as well. Huh? What's that? Hey! Don't run off! Ugh, come on, catch up to her! It looks like something's down there! Let's take a closer look. A boat? Hmm... It looks as if someone has been awaiting our arrival. Are we really supposed to sail in such terrible weather? I'm afraid that appears to be the intention. Everyone, everything about these islands is a mystery. <sighs> Regardless of what lies ahead, please proceed with utmost caution. Pretty scenic here! The four beacons have been lit, but we still don't know what trials may lie ahead. <sighs> the weather's so nice. I know we can't afford to drop our guard, but I can't help but enjoy the summer. I want to catch fish! Klee, this isn't Mondstadt. Please be careful. Oh, I understand. Paimon! After we deal with Dodo King together, we can go catch some fish! Okay, sure! Whatever you say! Who or what exactly is Dodo King? Yes, it is also my first time here. This may not sound fair to Klee, but my primary duty is to protect everyone. Finding this overlord is secondary. Also, 
The sudden appearance of this letter, these islands that are inaccessible by ordinary people, it's too much of a coincidence. Why would this sort of invitation be sent to a child? It's truly unbelievable. I also mustn't be careless. Well, what are we all waiting for? Let's start exploring the area. Paimon's right. We should take advantage of the clear weather to reassess our situation. Even on a mysterious island, I have no worries as long as you're here. <sighs> so, should we go swimming first? <sighs> Barbara is always happy-go-lucky when she sees such beautiful scenery. Traveler, please feel free to explore. I'll be at the ready if there is any sign of danger. I hope this island doesn't give us too much trouble. Yeah. 